Hello? Oh, hi, darling. Half a world away, another day. So let's go play on the moon. Welcome back to another episode of On the Other Line. I am your host, Kelly Keegs. We're here in the office today. Uh, I'll tell you something. I showed up to the office today on time, which is great for me. (laughs) Usually not normal. I'm here on time because I was forced out of my home today. And I, I have to complain about it. I have to talk about it. Ladies, I'm sorry. I know this is annoying. I have to talk about it because there is nothing more annoying than being in your apartment and dealing with construction inside your apartment. And I know people that have been listening to me for a long time, especially on this show, if you were here for the sling days, you know that I had massive construction going on in my apartment every fucking day because they were renovating apartments and it was all the drama, whatever. I moved to a new place. I've been talking about it for weeks. It's all I fucking talk about. Now they're doing construction on the outside of my building. And I... I don't know if I'm going to make it, girls. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Like, I don't know what to fucking do about this. And so I, it's one thing when, like, they tell you there's going to be construction between this hour and this hour, and we're sorry for the inconvenience and whatever. No one has told us that they were going to be, like, drilling into the side of our building, our brick building. And so I have no idea what time it starts every day. I don't know when it's going to end every day. So far, it seems like it starts at 8 a.m. and it stops never. So I don't know what to do about it and I just I, I I can't stop complaining about it and my main gripe about it like that's one thing yes I'm complaining about that that sucks right I am complaining about it on Twitter as well the place for complainers I view Twitter as the place to complain yeah. and get people to be like yeah that fucking sucks like I don't know I need people to uh, agree like let's all come together in this hatred towards this annoying thing right yes I post a video of myself I'm still laying in bed it's 9 30 I woke up at 8 a.m when the construction started, but I laid in bed on my phone, on my computer till 9.30 before I got myself up and started the day. Because as I also mentioned, and we will talk about briefly, Prince Harry's book came out at midnight last night. So I listened to some of it, not all of it though. It's honestly, it's fine. It's just dull. Anyway, um, I posted this video at 9.30 on Twitter and I have never seen an angrier group of people than the people who wake up early and go to work and are at work by 9 a.m. Yeah. What is the what is the deal? Are they They're so cranky. are they so cranky and angry to be up? Because I have people calling me entitled. I have people calling me a child that I'm a fucking bitch. These these workers are waking up early to work on your building. Get over it. You're a baby. What? Like, this you're is allowed annoying. To complain about loud noises in the They're, morning. The drilling. I, when I say loud noises, I couldn't. I had to turn off the audiobook because I couldn't hear it over the drilling. There was nothing to do. I was in. The, I was body showering. I could hear the drilling. I was like, they're drilling through my fucking window. They're going to b- bust into my apartment. That's how loud it is. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm allowed to complain about that. Right. Yeah. No matter Turn what time out. of the day it is. Right. No matter what time of day it is. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. Yeah. It's annoying as fuck because it's right outside my window. What's annoying or what I figured out when I left the apartment, I looked back up at the building to see what the fuck they're up to. And I stood there for like five minutes to try to figure out what they're doing. They are, uh, they're jackhammering out these like bits of concrete that are underneath every single window in the building. Like I, every single window has like a little strip of concrete oh, underneath it and they're they're jackhammering it out of every window. And they've only done like half of the windows. Like, like I, I'm trying, uh, it's hard to explain. Whatever, you had to be there to see it. Like I can't keep complaining about the actual work that's being done because I understand whatever needs to be done, the building, I wish they gave me a fucking heads up so I could plan my day better, sure. But I need the people online. I need the morning people online to get the fuck out of my face. I am. I'm out. I'm out on morning people. Period. I. Did, I. Oh, sorry. No. I was just saying they're just mad that they have to be at work at nine a.m. That's what and it has don't. to be, right? Yeah. Like it has to be that. Is that what you were saying? No, I was going to say that this morning I I came to the conclusion that I'm never going to be a morning person, never. no matter how I tr- hard I try. It's just never going to happen. I tried to, to get up at like eight thirty, go to the gym. My alarm went off, and I immediately had to stop and fell back asleep and woke up at like 9 45 i'm the exact same i'm the exact same and again we are uh, where we work is different where what we do is different we don't have to be grinding sitting at our desks at 7 a.m that's just not the place and so i don't understand why people can't understand that there are other jobs in the world that don't require you to be there at 9 Mm a.m you don't have to wake up not everybody has to wake up at 6 a.m to start their day or what if what about the probably 90 percent of people in your building that work from home 
That is more what I was thinking. Because honestly, most days, if I'm writing specifically, like today I was upset because I was trying to write notes and write a little bit. I'm writing a big recap of the Prince Harry book. And I decided instead of trying to cram it into today, which I'm not going to do because I wasn't able to listen to the whole thing. And I feel like that's important. Um, I'm just going to write a big blog about it. So if you are interested in Prince Harry and you're wanting to see a full breakdown of the book, keep your eyes out on my uh, my instagram stories or my twitter or whatever because i will be posting the blog whenever i finish writing it probably by the end of this week i think but um I, I, that's what i was trying to do i was trying to write notes and do things on my computer or whatever and i again couldn't even listen to it so i couldn't take notes off of it and then i was just so distracted i like couldn't even, i could was walking around in circles in my apartment like I, it was starting to i felt like um like a nervous dog, you know? Like, you mm -hmm. know how when dogs get nervous, they just kind of, like, <laughs> pace around. They can't do yes. anything. They can't sit still. They can't focus on a toy. They can't, like, play. They can't eat. They can't do anything. That's how I felt in my apartment all morning, being like, I, I don't even know how to get ready right now because the sound is so loud. Like, I mm -hmm. just don't know what to do. And I thought about that. I was like, what if I wasn't going to the office today? And this was, like, I was working from you, home today. You'd have to go to a coffee day. shop or I'd have I mean, to leave. I'd yeah. have to leave. And yeah. that's the thing is, like, you got to let us know, right? Like, a building has to let you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not on any kind of like email chain from my building though. Neither am I. Is Should I be? Really? Are you? I no, like my parents. Even, I feel like even my last building like emailed, you know, would email like, hey, we're doing construction. That was after they got bought by the big company though. So Sometimes we get flyers right. hung up. Yeah, like a flyer would be fine. I, I'd be fine with a flyer. Like if I missed a flyer, but I didn't miss any flyers. I looked even on the way out for some fucking flyers. You, and also, I saw nothing. you also live in like a big building. No. Like, like I, I feel know. like there has to be some it's sort massive. of communication. Right. It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like my building is big enough that I would have thought that we'd have like a mass email. So I don't yeah. know what's happening. But I did call down this morning to the thing, and um, I called uh, and just asked like, what time are they done? And they had no answer for me. So this is <laughs> this will be an ongoing issue. The reason I came in uh, so complaining and so hot today is just because I, you know, obviously took to Twitter to air my complaints, and everybody is now on my dick calling me an entitled child, and I just don't feel that I am. So I don't think you are either. Thank you. Thank you guys for validating. And then I'm not just All being a yes man, but <laughs> no, I, 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 would, my I would be pissed me? too. You guys would tell me, or I would hope, I would hope that you would tell yeah. me I was being an entitled child. I don't think I'm being an entitled child for complaining about drilling into my brain at 6 a.m. So <laughs> that's that, whatever. But uh, the only reason I'm, no, I wanted to complain about that. That's not the only reason. There's There are a million reasons why I wanted to complain about that. And <laughs> one of them is like, I wanted to hear myself talk. And two is like, I just wanted to yell. But why I was so upset by the noise truly is because I wanted to bring a little more to this episode about Prince Harry. The book is out. Spare is out. He narrates it himself Ooh. on Audible. Oh. Um, he's got a boring voice. and yeah. But it's not that it's a boring voice. It's soothing and it's nice. And it's British, obviously. And I'm very used to that because of Harry Potter. And I, um, I, I have to listen to it on like a higher speed. He he every moment is like suspense mm. and there are 87 chapters 87 Jesus. let me double check actually. what yes. how many how so many pages it's is this it's book 15 hours of listening which i don't know how many uh i don't know how many like i don't know what that means as far as oh my god no i'm i'm sorry there are holy shit there's there's three parts to it one two three each part has at least okay part two has 87 chapters part one has 58 chapters how long and is the book part three has 87 chapters wait what how it's fucking legal? crazy and the the chapters i don't know how long they are in the written word i was gonna some say some yeah. of them are some chapters are like three minutes reading time seven minutes one minute two minutes eight minutes like they vary they're all over the place but the book itself i mm. think is like 400 something pages i was talking about this with fran yesterday it's like 400 something pages and um yeah it's just it's a lot and i will say that i'm loving it from his perspective i'm glad that i'm listening to it i do wish that it wasn't leaked ahead of time and i haven't seen all these fucking headlines like over and right. over again for the yeah. past couple of right. days i think like we talked about this last week anymore mm -hmm. It's not that it's not interesting. I'm just like, okay, I already, I already heard yeah, this. Yeah, like you already know it. Yeah. yeah. Another problem that I have is that I watched yesterday um, Prince Harry talk to Anderson Cooper, and I watched him oh, talk yeah. to Michael as well. Strahan as well. And I think both those conversations were fantastic. I really liked Anderson's and Michael's um, questions and also their their attitude towards him i think that they were both very like fair fair and understanding and nice mm -hmm. and instead of like 
accusatory and kind of like you know well aren't you abandoning your family like nobody said that like nobody acted like that and i appreciate that i also feel like anderson cooper has a different angle because he's from the vanderbilt family totally so he understands the rich and elite of society sorry yeah yeah, yeah. i'm all up on it (laughs) you're chewing on the mic i am (laughs) like the gotta get this day i know but like he understands like the one percent and the like i would say secret society Totally, totally I'm not really sure why the Vanderbilts are so rich, but I know they are. I don't know why they're rich either. I think probably like old, and obviously it's old money. It's probably like steel or, or like or oil, oil, or, oil something. or something. Yeah. It's so I feel like he's like, I get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. It's it's like he knows what it what it's like to have a powerful family. And, and he branched I, out on his own kind of. Exactly. Which I think is wonderful. Uh, I also think it's interesting. Um, I think again, Fran and I were talking about this. I was not, I filled in for Rion Chicks in the office on Monday. So if you want to listen to like heavy pop culture stuff, then um, listen to that episode with myself and Fran. It was really fun. It was really good. But we did talk about Prince Harry a lot. And um, either Fran said it on air or before that um, it's interesting how how Harry has laid out this this press tour, how he has only spoken really to like male anchors Mm. which i think is interesting something i didn't even notice like that he hadn't didn't have any like women on the schedule to talk back and forth with and i actually think that that's smart solely because and maybe this is like a generalization or a stereotype or whatever but i'm just basing off of like my own self i feel like women know so much about the royals and men don't really give a fuck like Michael Strahan and Anderson Cooper probably know about the royals because it's their job but they really don't care when the when the lights are off you know but women, myself, I like care very much about the royals just because it's like, you know, little girl fantasy, like whatever, mm-hmm. like princesses, blah, blah, blah. Like that's how I kind of grew up. Now, obviously, I know I'm an adult. They're real people. It's not that's not what life is like. Yeah. But I wonder, like if I were interviewing Harry, I wonder what my tone would be versus like Anderson and, and Michael. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, do you think yeah. it'd be a little more like. I don't know. I don't know. Does that I, make sense I, what I'm saying? I yeah, like I'm I, rambling, I get but, what you're saying for sure. Yeah. I just don't. I've never no, thought about it. If it's like I never more of an American either. thing in general, like yeah. I don't, it would be interesting to see like American woman's take. And like also you yeah. really like the royal family, I'm sure. And at the end of the day, like women anchors know how to be biased. So true. So or true. Unbiased. Un- I mean. un- unbiased. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think who, who would be good at it, I guess. Well, like, Barbara Walters, rest in peace. Rest have. in peace. Well, no, but Barbara would have been, would have been bitchy. I think oh, she would have been a hard yeah. bitch, you know, Barbara, who yeah. I love. She what? always asks like the tough questions, right? But it would have been like tough, fair well, questions. Well, he did Oprah. He did do oh, Oprah. Oh yeah. He did Oprah first. Yeah. So then, all right, never mind then. I'll take back everything <laughs> I said. I was going to say, Oprah would have been a good one. Because Oprah yeah. is probably the only one that I would trust to do it yeah. in a way that's not like, I don't know because even Barbara like I love Barbara rest in peace by the way I don't even think we discussed yeah, no, her death oh peace. my god rest in, major rest in peace love Barbara but I I think that Barbara's whole thing is that she's kind of judgmental in her interviews like she it was very mm-hmm. good with her questions and very yeah. fair with her questions but I think people say that because she would always ask the questions that like the world was thinking mm-hmm. however uncomfortable they were yeah but totally. she would ask them in the tone of the world like yeah like it, he would she would probably ask carrie like do you feel like our how does it feel to be abandoning your family like she yeah. would say it like that because yeah. that's how other people are saying it. yeah whereas i feel like michael strahan and anderson cooper both did a really good job of not being judgmental towards him while telling his story does that make sense mm-hmm. yeah and maybe it's not fair to generalize women but i thought that that was interesting that he doesn't have besides Oprah now that we're thinking about that, that he yeah. doesn't have any other women that he's like talking to. Yeah. So I wonder if that was on purpose. Yeah. I feel like, um, like Savannah Guthrie from the today show would have been a good one. She could be good. Mm-hmm. I love her. I love her. I love all the she today show. Peeps. Yeah. 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 I don't know, but I, I think that, um, it's really interesting that people are so upset with him putting this book out and I don't really understand why. And that girl, that woman, Elizabeth Holmes, who covers the Royals, not not Elizabeth Holmes, oh, a girl this boss. Is, this is tough. Yeah, <laughs> girl boss. Yeah, she could. I would like her. She would be hard hitting. Yeah, yeah. She, um, this girl, Elizabeth Holmes, woman. Sorry, I keep calling her a girl. She's a grown woman. Like she follows the Royals. She reports on the Royals. Um, and she's excellent. She does a really good job. Normally, she will draw parallels between like their outfits, and she's always noticing like subtle nods to the queen or diana or like kate is wearing a brooch that diana wore 40 years ago at this event which symbolizes this like she draws connections and it's very interesting if you're like loving that kind of stuff but she posted something that i thought was interesting that um 
Harry has had books written about him his entire life. And everyone has commented on his life and mm. how he's acted and how he, like, his motives, his intentions, his this, his that, speaking for him. And this is the very first time that he has been able to speak for himself. And probably the only time. He's not going to write multiple books about this. He's going to write one big fucking book mm -hmm. about his family and his life and how it affected him. And why is everybody so pissed about that? Like, why is everybody mad? Yeah. I also saw another thing, like, kind of on that same take where people were like, the whole you know he's always trying to say oh, we're staying out of the media but he's doing all these interviews they when they left the royal family he has been doing these interviews and he's been in the limelight his whole life yes he wasn't just gonna go into hiding he was and never, never be heard hiding. from again he was never gonna go into hiding i also think that people are misinterpreting that sentiment of i want to keep out of the media the media to him is like this uncontrollable roller coaster that he's dealt with his whole life. Like when Harry, Prince Harry says the media, he means the British media that have commented on his life and told lies and, and slander his whole family and him and just like nitpicked him for every single thing he did in his entire life, followed him around, paparazzi cameras, like ruined his life basically. That's what he's thinking of. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about the American media where he can control the narrative and get mm -hmm. his story out. Like that to me is different. Like he's I, talking, right? he's talking the sun. He's talking page six. Right. He's talking daily mail. He's, he's talking, talking tabloids. Who, like, killed his mother. He's talking tabloids. Right. Yeah. He's talking tabloids. He's not talking legitimate news sources like fucking 60 minutes. 60 mm -hmm. minutes is a lot different than <laughs> the uh, sun, a source in the sun. You right. know what I mean? Like that's, that's not the same. And again, why is everyone trying to silence Harry when all anybody wanted to do his entire life was uh, knock on the windows and bust in? You know what I mean? Like now he's telling you everything and you don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Why is that a problem? Like that's yeah. that to me is what it is. Like you just don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear that shit was fucked up in the royal palace. Like uh, people just sucks. love the royal family so much they don't want to know that they actually are like not good. That people. they right that they have had. Well, I will say this. Like I, I'm somebody who loves the royal family and I I like that I like the image that was portrayed for sure. I think it's interesting. I like the idea of like royalty, mm. but I'm not so stupid that I don't realize that these people are people and they fuck up like everybody else and yeah. they do things like everybody else and they are shitty and shady and they have power so they can be shitty and shady on a, a much higher level right. than every Joe Blow on the fucking street. They get special special uh, preferential treatment. They get all of, you know, they can control the narrative on their life or somebody blows it up on them. Like, I just feel like it's so, they are a different, a, like they're in a different category. Like, I feel like they mm -hmm. shouldn't be judged the same way other people are judged because they're not the same. Like these people have been puppets for their entire lives. Like they've yeah. been, even Charles, like Charles, well, don't get me started on Charles. Charles is the root of the fucking problem. We all know that. And, uh, and this book, by the way, is, I've never like, Harry has daddy issues like nobody's fucking business. Yeah. Like people are like, oh, Harry has, you know, mommy issues because because Diana died and whatever. It's like, no, no, no. This is Charles from the mm. from the root. This is Charles. And that fucking sucks. But you know how many people run around probably in this office in this on this island who have the same like shitty dad or like shitty mom or just grew up in like a lousy situation. have had to make the most of it. Harry and the rest of his family have led a very different life than everybody. So why are we like. Who are we to judge about how they're getting over their shit? We're just, I guess, lucky to see that it's happening. I don't know. P if people aren't interested in the royals, they would stop reading about the royals. But page six alone had like 45 headlines in the past week about Prince Harry. So mm -hmm. clearly somebody's clicking and people are interested. Like, I never understand people are like, nobody's interested in the royals. Why, why are you talking about the royals? Nobody gives a fuck. Blah, blah, blah. People care so much. That's like saying people don't care about the Kardashians. You know what I mean? Like, right. I think I, I put that in the same category where I'm like, People do care. Whether you really like know. it or not. Whether you like it or not. That's what I'm saying. Whether you like it or not, people care. I, I'm the same way. I'm like, oh, sports. Who gives a fuck? I would love for nobody to care about sports. Everybody cares about sports. I'm not so stupid <laughs> to know that or to think that people don't. So why are you acting so stupid to think that people don't care about the Royals? Because clearly they do. It's all anybody's fucking talking about. Mm -hmm. I am very anxious to see how many books are sold for Spare. I'm mm -hmm. dying to know how many books he sells. Because I bet it's going to be a billion. Oh, uh, so <laughs> many. Like, I just think it's going to be a billion. Whatever. I, uh, I again, I'm going to write a, a full breakdown about it. People get on my dick about the Royals so much. And they hate when I, like, stick up for them. And they hate when I, like, say that they live a different life than us. And 
that's just the, that's reality. just what it is that's mm -hmm. just reality there's nothing you can do about it there's no taking that away so why are you so fucking worked up about it i don't know people get really upset about me for it and i'm just gonna keep doing it because people are interested and i'm interested these people whatever does he talk a lot about megan in it or is it more just the family honestly so far no megan at all okay. um i feel like it's more just about his it's a lot about the family it's starting family. from like the beginning like it starts when he's like a kid okay. it starts off um that's what i assumed yeah it's a lot of a lot of like conversations with his grandmother um times where his father wasn't really there for him like this is something that he talked about on um I think he talked about it on Anderson Cooper or I saw a clip of it or a quote of it from Strahan I forget one of them he talks about when his mom died his father came into the room told him that his mother died put his hand on his knee and was like it'll be okay and then left no hug nothing and then Harry didn't cry about his mother's death until they were lowering her to the ground he cried a little bit then and then since then has not cried about his mother what? and he has this guilt because he can't like emote over it he like doesn't understand why he can't cry about it he said he started going to therapy he said that he um he did like ayahuasca he tried uh all the psilocybin like mushroom treatments like all these things trying to like evoke this emotion within him and he said that it helped clear off like a windshield it was like as if he was looking through a fog and it helped those things helped clear off a windshield to see clearly as to what was going on and what he needed to accept was like just because i am not showing emotion in a way that other people are showing emotion doesn't mean that i don't love my mother and miss my mother and that was like a big issue of his mm -hmm. like whatever and he was saying that as a kid he remembers on the day when they had to walk around um or walk up that fucking road to buckingham palace or to the uh, grave site or whatever it is he um, oh, I'm losing my train of thought but I'm keeping it keep it keep it oh he was feeling bad because they were shaking hands of everybody like as they were going down the down the procession and they were he was taking flowers from people and putting it next to the palace and whatever and he said that at that time as a kid he remembers feeling guilty for not for like smiling and saying thank you for coming and not like sobbing crying like all these people were crying at him like these right. strangers were providing more emotion about his dead mother than he was mm. and he felt like that was fucked up yeah that, that'll fuck you up exactly like how and and that's you know that's british culture as well everybody's so buttoned up everybody nobody mm. shows emotion nobody does anything like that that's that's like a common trope in movies and and literature and yeah you know what i mean like that's just that's not just a stereotype that's facts like that yeah. is how that's how things were when those people were younger and just i feel like kind of I don't know if it's the same as America, but I feel like, you know, the UK suddenly goes to therapy now too. That's like a new thing for them. Like it's yeah. not like it's, you know, it's not like they're out there addressing mental illness in the same way that the United States is. Yeah. It's, Have you seen a different um, spot. Banshees of Inishirin? Yes. Yes. That's like an interesting take on like men's, like Irish men's mental health. Totally. Where they just, they yeah. like refuse to acknowledge it. Yeah. Refuse. And they like, I'd rather mutilate do, myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like they'll do, go to the, most extremes instead exactly. of go to therapy <laughs> exactly like yeah. it's crazy i'm i'm reading um or no i'm watching uh the sopranos right now mm -hmm. i have never seen it top to bottom like i've, I've seen, seen a it. million episodes of it i know all That's the characters I like whatever. i know what like, happens yeah exactly. i know what happens i know the whole deal but i've never seen it top to bottom and one of the major storylines in the whole thing so far i'm on season two and it's still a fucking storyline is the fact that tony goes to the therapist mm -hmm. goes to the psychiatrist she's and, like the main lady right she's like <laughs> she's a part of it yeah. and so and not because not solely because they're worried he's passing information to her but mostly because they think he's like he's like a loser for going to you know he's soft he's weak because he has to go to a psychiatrist he has to take mm. pills he has to do whatever and that shows from the late 90s you know what i mean like it's it's not like we were all mental health mental health up until like five years ago like mm -hmm. nobody gave a fuck and yeah. I, and Britain's a little bit behind us. And so imagine growing up as Prince Harry or even Prince William. I'm starting to feel like Prince William definitely sounds like a dickhead, but I feel bad for him too because he also didn't grow up in reality. Like these people have no sense of life itself and they're trying to get there and Harry's trying to get there. And I feel like people are shitting all over him for trying to better himself and become like a real person. And I don't understand why. And I'm sick of it. Yeah, so, I'm sick of it too. That's my statement. Leave Prince, Prince Harry. Harry alone. Leave Prince Harry alone. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. He's fine. Um, all right, let's move on from that. Again, check out. <laughs> Whoa, I get so mad about it for some reason. I don't know why yeah. I get so pissed. Like, there's no, I don't, who am I? I don't well, care. Well, you care about it. I guess I care about it. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. 
True, true. Thank you for thank you for validating that. You're welcome. People it. get upset when Tom Brady does stuff. So true. Yeah. So true. Thank you for putting it in perspective. Um, moving on. Guess what I saw this weekend? Who? Megan. Who? The movie. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is this freaking movie? Dude, it is so fucking good i'm telling you right now both of you see it today like go after this like ditch the rest of work go see the movie i have no interest it is no listen you guys are stupid because (laughs) i so i i kind of was like oh what is this like it's probably a a take on you know a doll that gets out of control and starts to kill people and that is exactly what it is it's a uh it's a bloom house movie so if you guys like scary movies do you like scary movies no i hate movie people I will watch them. I don't like them, though. I prefer more of a thriller. Is it like a jump scare kind of thing? It's a thriller. There are some jump scare, but not really. Yeah. There, it's not supernatural at all. So no ghosts or anything yeah. like that. Um, it's just, the weird doll. I just, she's not a ghost. She's a she's technology. She's not, yeah. Oh, she's that's yeah. the thing. So it's it's like a technology fear movie. And it's oh, very yeah. funny. There's like very funny parts to it. It's super creative. It's a very smart, like smartly written. Is smart it intentionally writing. funny or is yes. it so bad that it's funny? No, no, it's intentionally okay. funny. I no, no, like, like, it, has like it. A, it has like a 98 on Rotten Tomatoes. Like I'm not making this up. Yeah. It's I, like a really, I swear to God, it's a really good movie. So uh, did you guys see like Get Out? Yeah. yeah. It's like that same vibe. Exact same vibe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the same directors and everything. Jordan Peele? Jordan Peele. No, 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 sorry. Not Jordan Peele. It's not Jordan Peele, but I think it's like an, I think it's like, um. I've heard they're like in on the bit. Yes. Like it's kind of like a bad. Yes. Like it's, it's like, um, it's like a modern day Chucky. Have you seen Chucky? No, but I know what I mean. Which is like obviously scary and whatever, but it's also funny and he's Mm. like a a fucked up doll, but he's like a pervert. Megan is not a pervert. That's like the (laughs) funny part about Chucky is that he just like wanted to fuck everybody. So he's a doll. So it was like ridiculous. Megan. Okay. So I'll I'll break it down a little bit. If you don't want to be spoiled for this movie, uh, skip through it a little bit because I'm going to give a little bit of background to the movie. I liked going into it, not really knowing what was up. So skip through right now if you don't want to hear anything about the movie. But the movie is Allison Williams is a um, a toy creator. She works for like a massive company that makes toys. Okay. And she's like a, a physicist. Like, I'm not a physicist. Like what's like somebody who, who knows? Engineer? Yeah, an engineer. Like she's like a, like a crazy smart engineer. She like knows how to make... Like she like has written code for artificial intelligence. Like she's like incredibly smart. Her niece uh, was in a car accident with both of her parents. Both of her parents died. Allison Williams has to take care of her now. Allison Williams is a single woman with no kids, career focused, wants nothing to do with like being married and having kids. The little girl comes, she's like five or or no, no. uh, She's older than that probably. She's like six or seven, the, the little girl. She was homeschooled her whole life, so she uh, doesn't have any, like, immediate friends or whatever. Allison Williams is in the process, happens to be in the process at the same time, of making a life-size robot doll that can talk to you, play with you, take care of you, like, whatever, as, like, a friend, a toy, blah, blah, blah. She ends up writing it so good and bringing it home to her, um, to her niece And she pairs with her niece and she becomes like her best friend. So she's like this best friend doll and she's really smart and she says funny things and she like corrects, you know, uh, one of the major things about it, Allison Williams is like, it can help like parent your child basically and tell her, remind her to do things that you're sick of reminding her to do. So like there's one part where, uh, the little girl is like never flushing the toilet. So, um, what's her face Megan is like remember to flush the toilet Katie like don't do it and then she forgets like four times she's like seriously flush the flush the toilet like what's your problem like it's it's funny and um but then it starts to get a little haywire because Megan becomes a little too smart and Allison Williams notices that she is like kind of out of control out of her control and she's like wait a minute like you're a robot and she like you shouldn't be like being such a sentient being like you're not Mm -hmm. and she says something like your job is to protect Katie, this little girl, whatever. So Megan takes that very seriously and starts like killing everybody around her to protect, to protect her. Like if somebody is like wronging her, Megan will like fuck them up. And so it, it like starts turning into this big thing where she's like fucking up people around this girl. And then eventually, you know, they're, this product is going to go to launch. They're doing this big presentation. That's going to change the toy world forever. Like it's a big deal. Ronnie Chang is in it. He's so funny too. And he's like the head of the toy company. And, um, 
Megan is like at this toy company and they have to shut her down because Allison Williams finds out that she's like murdering people and she's like we can't we can't do this we can't have it and then Megan like overrides all of her shit and goes ape shit on everybody so it's like it's a really good movie and it's very smart I think is like how I like it so much and uh, it's just a good story so oh, I think that I think that that's if not you, if you're what interested in something like that, yeah, if you're interested in something like that, watch it. It's it, I keep saying smart on purpose because I feel like it's very smart. The writing is so good. Like the dialogue is great. The topics are good. Um it's very camp. <laughs> like it's yeah. kind of it's That's just like a good funny word like, that I've heard. Like, yeah, it's very it's camp. camp. It's very funny. Like but it's also it, uh, she kills people and it's mm -hmm. like there's a little bit of jump scare action, but not really. Like it's I'll, you know? I'll watch it just not in, I probably won't see it in theaters I really liked it in theaters mm -hmm. I liked because everybody around was like ah and like laughing and whatever it was a good theater experience I thought interesting yeah 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 that's definitely not what I thought it was about yeah I people people Fran said the same thing Fran was like that movie looks so fucking stupid what could that yeah. possibly be about and I was like no bitch you're wrong I was always interested in it because they used it's nice to have a friend in same, the trailer that's why I, I started and I love that song yes I was like that's such an underrated Taylor it is Swift song. Underrated. it's yeah. so funny at some at certain parts Megan is like <laughs> like they'll be fighting or something and or she'll be like trying to gaslight Katie into thinking like what she's doing is normal where yeah. she's like being too overprotective and she's like you know murdering someone underneath the thing <laughs> she'll just start randomly breaking out into song like she'll like at one point she starts singing bulletproof and it's like <laughs> I'm bulletproof <laughs> to like lull her to sleep like it's so <laughs> absurd like it's really good it's really good and we were cracking up in the theater there are parts though I was like crying like just because I was like oh no I'm feeling emotional why like she like pulls emotion out of you it's really good interesting it's really good interesting. I, I highly recommend it highly highly recommend um but yeah so i saw it and i said this to fran the other day that i had to um text my brother and let him know because my brother was trying to come into the city this past weekend just to like hang around do nothing and go see this movie and i was like no like i just i need a weekend to myself like i need to get my yeah. life together or whatever he's coming this weekend instead and i went and saw the movie and i felt really oh, bad no. and i texted him and i was like i'm sorry you're gonna hear it but I saw the movie without you. And he was like, oh, that's okay. I was thinking about going to see it myself. And I was like, we'll see it again. So we're going to see it again. Oh, nice. Fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that, that sucks. I feel bad whenever that happens. Um, when you, you know, you bail on plans and then you yeah. see the movie that you promised you would. Yeah. It's always a movie. It's always a movie. I know it is always a movie. Every especially time. with my siblings. It's just like, the, I live close to the movie theater, you know? I can see it basically. And yeah. it's like, I just, I'm, I'm doing nothing. I just walk over there, see the movie quick and come back. And yeah. I was going to lie about it. I was fully going to lie. Like he was going to come and I was going to buy his tickets and I was going to act like it was the first time I was seeing the movie. <laughs> I was ready. And then I was like, oh no, I'm going to get caught. So I couldn't <laughs> lie. But um, yes, go see it. Go see it. Another thing I would like to bring to you, your attention, ladies. And I'm curious about if you are on this part of TikTok, have you been noticing the... Uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. The influx, the obsession with canned fish. I have, yes. You've seen yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. That's, an, I've been on that. It feels like I, I was scared yesterday because I was like, am, is this only me? Like, am I getting stuck the in this? The tinned fish community tinned is fish strong. Community. Yeah. The tinned fish community is out of fucking control right now. Um, it started with caviar. Caviar is making yeah. a big comeback right well, it's, now. It's the caviar. Caviar started yeah. it. Everybody was like, ooh, caviar, which caviar growing up for me was something that I was told was only at, like, I never had caviar until I was a full adult. Hmm. I've I never was had told caviar. that caviar was for, like, the uber rich, mm -hmm. and it was only at, like, fancy black tie events. Yeah. That well, was, uh, I was like, the only place I'll ever find cavi caviar is a place like that. Like, I didn't even think you could buy it in the store. Yeah. That's how fancy I thought I didn't it was. Either. I remember the only time I've ever had, like, caviar memories, which, it sounds weird to say, but like, <laughs> yeah. was Eloise? They have it in Eloise. Oh, funny! And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I didn't even think about you know, that. No, it has fancy caviar. I'm yeah, like, at the fucking oh. plaza. Yeah, the plaza. Yeah, I'm never go going. To the plaza hotel to get some caviar. Like, right. So no, caviar was always like something that was so so unattainably rich that there was just never a chance in my life that I would ever have it. I tried it for the first time at a very fancy dinner, so I was like, oh, still living my life, knowing that caviar is extremely fancy. Now, people are buying caviar out the ass. It's like I've, a, it's become the new, it's like the new cheese board. Like you have caviar now. Mm. It's That's caviar it. and potato chips people are doing right Ca now. It's yeah, potato chip, potato chip, normal? creme fraiche, yeah. caviar, oh. and a little uh, chive sprinkle. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's how I tried. Well, I tried it on like a cracker, not a, not a chip, but I, I would have liked a chip. 
What's a, Ooh, like the, the little the pancake, 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 right? The little yeah. pancake. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. A little yeah. pancake. That's something that I learned. So good. Or it's is it what's it called? It's not Bellini, but it's but it's uh, it's Bellini. I'm thinking no, th- Bellini is a drink. The drink. That's it's I'm like Bellini. It's, it's, sure. it's yeah, like I'll Bellini. Sure. It's like it's like Bellamy. Bellini. <laughs> it's like Bellini or something. Oh, did I pronounce it wrong? Or it's it, well because a Bellini. Be- Bellini is like the peach yeah. drink. Bellini. Bellini. You know what I'm saying? It's spelled differently because I had the That'd same be thing. Bellini. I was watching videos Bellini? and I saw this or girl talking about Bellini. Bellini. I was like, I'm putting it on a little Bellini, and I was like, a Bellini is a drink. Oh, with, that you with get a chip Bellini. champagne and peach. Bellini. A Bellini, B L I N I, right? So stupid. Bellini. <laughs> Bellini, but whatever. Yeah, How I many like, times are we gonna say it? I like Bellinis better. Bellinis, which are like yeah. little pancakes mm-hmm. and yeah. whatever. So, uh, but yeah, so people are just going apeshit for caviar right now. Yeah. And in like a, uh, you know, like a middle class way, an affordable way. Caviar is attainable all of a sudden. No. And TikTok has made it's that. It's so expensive. I still don't know where yes, you get caviar. Yes, but then how are all these people getting caviar out the ass? Like, how much is a tin of caviar? I actually have no idea. Do you know? A oh. small Look. one, like it depends on the mil- on the. Ha- like like one like this size yeah. is about sixty dollars. Really? Yes. So the what? Pe- so people are running around with them like this size. I this think size. They're doing you, unboxings with them. Yes. Are you talking about that one woman? I'm talking about that one girl for sure. Yes. But I have seen her, other people. Her, her brother family does caviar. Does Markies. Yes. Yeah, I know which is that. A caviar brand. I know that, but I have seen other people uh. with like with the big caviar thing though. Like it's become a I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Hold I've on. only seen that girl. Like I haven't really seen. I, I see she's, her all she's, the time. She's seeped onto my for you page, but now I'm seeing like Wishbone Kitchen is get on her caviar. Well, she's too. so rich. That's true. True. I guess maybe I'm, maybe I, I just have rich people on my shit. Because they have to be because yeah. no, that's what I thought. no I middle thought class person like, spending that much money. I on hope caviar. not. I saw a bunch. Of, I saw a couple of girls like some random things scrolling. They had like especially you know, the no big likes ones. Whatever. Yeah. yeah had like, um, the big ones are like three hundred dollars. That's what? crazy to yeah. me. Okay. Okay. In Florida, what? What are you over, saying? Oh. Okay. You this saying? must be saying? fancy dancy because no, this one is yeah. nineteen hundred dollars. <gasps> That's insane. That has what to be. What kind fit. is it? Does it say like Kaluga or whatever? Uh, I, oh I yeah, answer? like the Imperial, like that kind. That's is six thousand dollars. Yeah. It really depends. It what? also depends on what kind you're getting, like yeah, Beluga, yeah. Kaluga. Then there's like, um, I forget all the names, and then like Sturgeon. Yeah. Do you like it? I love it. Yeah, it's good. I've never had it. I don't it's even know what it would with taste like. It's good with I, I like, yeah, yeah. It's good with the It's really it's, it's also good as like a I sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, if I go get like um uh omakase, they put it on top of sushi. For sure, yes. Which oh, I've had as well. I've, yeah. had, I've had it on top of sushi. So this Marquis is yeah, is Marquise. this the girl? That's okay, the, girl, yeah. the one that she's pulling out on her TikTok is still eight hundred dollars. Holy shit. And yeah. she's I'm, and maybe what? Maybe I'm just now desensitized based on this, based on this woman and the other videos I've seen about it. People are eating caviar like three hundred dollars like is like the cheap one. Salsa from the store. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, like, am it's I crazy. missing like something? Like these two sizes. Yeah, so tiny. Were sixty and seventy dollars. Oh my god. Oh my is god. Is it crunchy? Look at those little. No, it's next not. To it. It's not crunchy. It like it, there's. It's so good. It's, it's really good. so good. I didn't really like the green. I liked the black a lot. I don't yeah. I don't remember which ones were the difference, but I like, like the my black dad more. did like my egg whites and the blinis and then creme fraiche and like red onion. Yeah. Okay, you can like mix. Here are some cheaper delicious. ones on Markey's that's like okay, 175. This one's 90. Uh, that's yeah. still a lot of it's, money. It's, it's, it's probably money. just the sizes. Regardless, like the big and it's, the, money. it's the this, different if fish. This is all true, yeah, yeah. If this is all true, it just goes it goes back into my to my thing where I'm like, I'm so curious. And maybe I again I'm watching the same girl. What the hell is her name? I don't know, it's but like I she's on the D. She's thing. made it to the NYC influencer snark page. Oh, I has checked. she people don't like her? Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, I like her. I'm not I'm not like talking shit. I'm just saying no. more that like I can't no, believe I mean, how much caviar this bitch. People consumes. don't like anyone. On, if you're on the New York City, oh, that's so true. I'm afraid of that page. page. I'm afraid oh, of that it is page. my guilty pleasure. I think, I'm too old for it, though. I think just, that I'm like such, I've aged out of that snark page. They are the it's hate, haters. They would hate me so but much. But they will literally be like, "This girl, her hair is an inch too short. Like this is disgusting." Oh yeah, they choose. Life. They choose the most. Oh, it, get a life. Crazy shit. That's it is so entertaining, but it is hater central. And also for people that I just have never even heard of 
And right, I'm, like who are these random who, people? Who is following these people? How many how many like followers does that uh does that sub have? Forty thousand. Shut up. Uh huh. Yeah. What? It's nuts. Dude. It, it is my guilty pleasure. Wow. Well, I'm embarrassed. Uh, should I be embarrassed that I'm never on it? Or should I be glad? No, you should be happy. No, you should be so they glad. They would rip me apart. They would they're, hate me so They're so, so mean. Much. You think Kirk Minahan's? That's what I'm saying. They would yeah. hate me so much. They I would. Not, I am not that, their vibe. Like, no, I don't, I just so Sometimes mean. I just don't think I'm the vibe for like. I think you should be happy about like, that. Sometimes I worry. Like Grace and Brie are on it. No, I know. And they talk shit about them. Yeah. I, guess, I mean, you know, whatever. They People talk shit about Grace and Brie all the time. So it's like, that's not a big deal. People talk shit about me all the time. So it's like. But just not on the NYC influencer I, page. I feel like it's different when it's girls talking shit and guys talking shit. Oh, 100%. Well, because girls will hit you where it hurts. Girls hit you where it hurts. And also like, that's very, it's very anti-girly of you, right? Oh, it's, it's like so anti-women. Women, well, women hate women. We all <laughs> yeah. know that. Women hate women. So that's a thing. This, this girl here, I found her. I found her. I've been looking for her this whole time. Yeah, I'm just D- like, so her family says DZ is D Z is Lovsky. She's like mm-hmm. uh, that's her Eastern yeah. European, like Russian or something like that. And she just has these massive things of caviar all the time. And yes, it's her brother that does it. I saw all that, so that makes a little bit more sense. But okay, the reason I'm talking about this and canned fish and tin fish, whatever, is it's st- I'm it started with her. Like she has started it. She started the caviar thing, but she also I think. Not I think. I know. I saw a video of her talking about um, affordable tinned fish to buy Mackerel. and the kinds that she loves so much. And I think she gets it shipped. Like some of it she gets shipped maybe from like Russia or, or like she speaks Russian sometimes. So that's why I keep saying Russia. But wherever. Brazil also I think she's talked about. So I feel like she has this like funky family background where she's like tried all these things before. Right. And maybe we're just like, you know, stupid Americans who have never even realized that tinned fish is fine. But there are some fish and tins that I never even thought about. Mussels, oysters, yeah. clams huh? that people have as like charcuterie. Like she she brings out and she's like, oh, these my smoked, you know, uh, vinaigrette mussels. Mm. And she eats them with crackers and, and caviar. I mean, it sounds delicious. I love but anything. does it from a tin can? Yes. I then it's love. Like I'm saying, like, I I love anchovies. From a can? Yeah. Yeah. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's I not tried, my game. Uh, I tried anchovy. No, no, I tried sardines. I love sardines. Yesterday. You yeah. love a tinned fish. I, I haven't had a tinned fish that's not anchovies or sardines. What about, don't they I've have never mackerel? had tinned mussels? They have mussels. mackerel. They have all, so, okay, so I took a. Sorry, I, I'm like, I lost. I'm stuck in my own well, brain because I'm blown away by this. Fish, technically? I took a picture yesterday. Uh, it's eggs. Is it like the Finding Nemo eggs? No, it's like, th- that's it's like fish eggs, Ikora. Yeah. That's salmon roe. That's that's, that's, like, that's 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 the like thing though too. Yes. Wisconsin. Oh, like that's fancy sushi. The no, no, that. No, oh, yeah, that's, that's Tobiko. Oh, Masago. you get you. Yeah. That's flying fish. Yes. You get your row. I've yes. seen you get that. The ones that look like Nemo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's that's Nemo. That yeah. That's salmon eggs. Okay. Yeah. Row well. is not my very favorite. I had a su- mm. in Japan. I had a sushi with row on it. That yeah. was like all. It was like all. Roe you get that? That's like all. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Like like a lot. When I was like in high school or or college, I got it by accident because i ordered the tobiko the small ones yeah, that go yeah. on top like by itself and they gave me the big ones and i was scared but i tried them and i love them and you love but them. they have to be f- like not fresh but they have they, they have, have to, to have like a certain right flavor the because yeah, yeah. sometimes they can taste really bad hmm. yeah that's my problem with salmon in general is that it's too fishy but um and i know people don't agree with that people are like bitch what it's I'm fishy just, i'm like no it's the, it has a very specific smell about it and yeah. i don't know so look i was in trader joe's yesterday Okay. This is the tin fish Section? shelf. Section. Look at how cleaned out it is, number one. Oh, uh, let's see. We have is tin fish good sockeye for salmon, sure lightly smoked salmon, um, naturally oh, yeah, smoked they do the oysters, salmon. lightly I'm smoked mussels. I'm not a big mussels. fan of smoked fish, I though. I hate smoked anything. I don't like smoked salmon. Like I like lox. Smoked trout. Like, sometimes when I eat too much of them, I'm like, Ugh. See, I don't like pink lox. Pink salmon, yeah. wild pink salmon, That's mackerel, okay, then sardines, fish. Like Flat fillet anchovies, mm. wild skipjack tuna. Tuna makes sense. I love sense. anchovies. It's albacore tuna. Yes, ob- yellowfin tuna. <laughs> Obviously, everybody eats tuna out of a can. That's one thing. So I guess why I am I so surprised tuna. that people are bugging out over all this other shit, whatever. But what made me start talking about this and start thinking about this is after I saw that girl with all the caviar and eating all the canned fish and whatever, I was like, that bitch is crazy. And I was reading the comments and people were like, damn girl, that looks gross, but also so good somehow. Like I can't imagine how that's good, <laughs> yeah. but you like are enjoying it so much. Like I have to try it. I have to know. And so now I'm getting random videos of like random people who have eating no following or whatever, fish. trying this tin fish and doing different like variations of it, adding it to their cheese boards, adding it to their like snack nighttime snack regime. What? I cannot imagine 
at 11 p.m. snack eating a some mussels on a cracker. I, it just, am yeah, I sometimes does that feel will go into my fridge and eat a couple anchovies before. Dude, bed. you're what? joking. What? Gia. So, so Gia, you're this is joking. you. This is what I'm talking about right now. You've been living that life <laughs> in secret. I what love anchovies. Fuck? I love them. You can ask. Do they Francesca. have their eyeballs in them? Are they full? No, no, no. Full? no they're they fillets. Like? Anchovies okay. are. They're like the fillets, Dude. white anchovies. Sometimes you can get them like and full like, but fish. The bones and stuff. There's no, there's no bones. Have you ever seen an anchovy yeah, on a Caesar but I, salad? Yeah, yes, but I don't yeah. like look. The brown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't look too hard. There's you no just bones. Eat them as snack. I just pop them right in my mouth. That's They're crazy. So good. Down. That is. No. You can ask Francesca whatever I go to her, her and Joe's apartment. <laughs> Joe will get me a full can of anchovies and bread, and I'll just literally eat them. Oh, that's nice of that's Joe. That's really yeah, they sweet. Know. He's like, oh, should I get some anchovies? I'm like, fuck yeah. My, I get some anchovies? My family loves anchovies. Francesca's not really a big fan of anchovies, but my dad and my mom love them. And when we're in Italy, we eat them all the time. You're just a so seafood funny. slayer. Yeah, yeah, I'm you a seafood love slayer. Love I'm a seafood slayer. So then, do you think? Do you think? And Madeline, I'll ask you this too. Are, do you like seafood like generally um, speaking j- on a very casual basis i'm the same i'm a, yeah. I'm a casual seafood liker yeah i don't hate fish. it don't don't go out of my way to like yeah. beg for it i like oysters because i like the vinaigrette and i like the sauce you know what i mean i like yeah. shrimp cocktail i like flounder i like a i like a love a crab i love, love a lobster i love a i love a lobster love a crab crabs are too much work to be honest i, don't I really like even like crab that much i don't really I love crab, crab. I, I will have crab like in i sushi like stone stuff, crabs yeah. so you oh, guys yeah. ever had stone, stone yeah. crab are pretty so good, good. Yeah. yeah 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 um but so i feel like there's this underground world of fish lovers that are just eating fish out of tin cans <laughs> and yeah. like i didn't even know a level of liking seafood was was there like that there's and a girl we have a person right in our midst yeah doing that there's a girl that i follow on tiktok <laughs> who loves tinned fish and she she has like the anchovies the sardines all those and she's like very fit very in shape yeah, like yeah. runs and she has a literal tote bag now i'm gonna get it for you for your birthday that literally says hot girls love tinned fish wait i would love <laughs> wait, that that's hilarious. wait and it's funny because i and there's like a I brand for anchovies in a tin rather than when they're in wait, like the glass when they're like fresh or whatever no they're no not like fresh, what, sorry sometimes uh, they come mean. in like a glass jar yeah, they yeah. pop open i always feel like, like they're pickles? better in a tan in a tin then yeah like you just pull them right i feel out. like a tin would keep it I don't know why, don't but it just know. makes them more fresh. Something, but yeah, like do that, and and those like tin cans never go bad. But I guess I can't, I yeah. can't wrap my head around fish in a can not going bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, no, there's totally. something about it that totally. I can't, and I just feel like my eyes have been open to this whole new world, and I just had no idea it existed. Yeah. and now it's like all I'm fucking seeing on TikTok. So I want to try like all the different stuff though. Like That's what I mean. Muscles. Should we do, like, should we do I, a I, tasting? I, I would love to do a tasting. Let's do a tasting. I heard, I've heard that the. Um, I've heard that Trader Joe's is bad, though. Hmm. The girl, yeah, I wouldn't, girl, I wouldn't. Caviar girl says don't get it from no, Trader Joe's. No, I would Joe's. go to. No, I would say like Whole Foods. Whole Foods probably. Or like a good market. Yeah. We'll do a tasting at Whole Foods. Is it fish I'll, I'll get, I'll is get some for us next time. Okay. And we'll try some. Because I'm curious now. Because I, I like all those things. I do like mussels. Yeah. I do like oysters. I, know. I, again, I don't like oysters cooked, though. Like I like, I, I just like, like them raw. Oh, I guess I don't know the difference. What did we yeah. do at your raw, house? No, I eat raw oysters. Clams? Yeah, those were clams. Yeah. Clams. I liked the clams. Clams are so good, but clams I again, I like the butter. Like that's the kind of thing. Yeah. That's, all these, yeah. All the all the seafood I like is more so more or less a vessel to. Yeah, I need that for, for butter that's or funny. sauces or other things that I want, which is like why I eat these things. Yeah. But it well, really opened my mind to to a lot of weird shit that I didn't know existed, and it got me thinking as well. Um, about the stock market a little bit oh. and <laughs> i i know i know yes sharp turn yeah. 90 degree angle we uh i think i think we gotta start getting involved ladies i think we need I to start can't. playing the I stocks can't. i have no money for it i can't but i think just i think just in 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 practice like not even in practice in theory like we'll just talk about it you know what i mean like i think we need to talk about it but this is this is why I'm, i have a reason for this i watch tiktok all the time and I can see when things are going to start to get popular, like tin fish. Tin mm. fish right now, I guarantee in a couple of weeks, like you won't be able to buy tin fish at the store. Like it's yeah. going to be sold the fuck out. Every single thing that gets popular on TikTok, this happens to. Happens to makeup brands. Happens right. to, you know, Alex Earl posts the the mm-hmm. Rare Beauty Hope shade and we're never going to see it again. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. Don't even get me started about that. I think we need to start thinking about the stock market in terms of TikTok influencers. And mm. I think that we need to buy a bunch of tin because tin... Tin fish is on or the up. Or fish. Or I just fish. think people yeah, need to start gatekeeping again. 
Yeah. Yes, like start keeping like, again because it's ruining start, it for everybody else. Stop. There's too many people on yeah. this earth. Not everybody like, can enjoy all the tin yeah. fish. Not exactly. everybody can have it. If you find a blush that you like, gatekeep that keep shit. Keep it to yourself. Mm-hmm. I because keep, it to I keep my shit to myself. Yeah. I never talk about not that anybody's clamoring for my routine. <laughs> yeah. but like I always keep it to myself. I know. The only thing I talked about was my lip blushing, which I never even mentioned on the show, by the way. How my lips look color wise. Fabulous. Thank you. I have no I have nothing on them. Wait, but what? a little it's, Laneige lip. Yeah, they look very you know? natural and beautiful. That's nice. Thank you. That's because I got a tattoo of color in my lips. Like that's literally what that's what lip blushing is. That's why yeah, I got I've heard t- of literally that. tattoo on it. I heard about it. I was like, I'm just gonna do it because my lips always look dead, and I did it. And I love it. I'm so happy about it. But um, that's what I mean. Like there are too many people on this earth. They see popular things. TikTok is so massive that like you can't even get your hands on it. But I feel like we're not we're not thinking smart here. We need to start thinking in ways of like how are we gonna make money off of these people who flock to the store for tin fish. Because this bitch keeps talking about it. Right. We just got to start thinking start like that. Start investing in tin fish. You know what I'm saying? It's tins, tin fish, tin. and tin fish. Tin fish, tin fish, tin fish. Can you invest and in fish, fish on the stock market? I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. I don't know Who anything knows? about stocks. Like fish farms? Who knows? I'm just I'm just putting my, putting my ear to the ground, ladies. And I just think that there are some things that are happening on TikTok that we need to keep an eye on. And mm. maybe, you know what I mean? Start throwing our money around a little bit. You know who you could, would talk thinking. to about that is large? I Annie. should talk to him about that. Large and Annie would know. They would know. I, I don't even know how to check. That's the yeah. thing. It's like, I don't even know how to look. Like, is tin up? <laughs> like, uh, are people Robin investing Hood? in tin? Isn't that who got in trouble, like, last year? Oh, yeah. Fuck them, right? I don't know. They're bad guys, I think. All yeah. I know is that my mom, like, has some socks for me, and that's all I know. That's great. Maybe I should call your mom up. I you think should. Your mom would your know. Mom would she know. does mom know. so know. She does know. She knows a lot Mrs. about Mariano. girl boss. Please socks. let us know what we should do about about the influx of tin fish. Yes, mm-hmm. that and is how, coming how do we because invest? of TikTok. And how do we invest? Yeah, I'm I'm needing to know. How do you buy? Please, stocks? please let us know. Call in. What? How do you buy stocks? Great question. Like I don't know any of these things. Like I don't know anything. All I know is I want to run my mouth until somebody com. does it for yeah. me, and then I can get the credit for it. You know what I mean? Like I just want the credit for being right about something. Yeah. That's really what what the stem of this is, or what yeah. the crux of this is. But um, generally speaking, I oh, wow, I love this shirt. Hot girls eat tin fish. It's a t-shirt. And she's got her little boobies out. Yeah. I love that. She's a mermaid. I love her. I that need, I need that website that, that I sent you, though, it's called Fish Wife. I love it. And they sell wife? tinned fish. And you can just order wow. it online. And it's aesthetically pleasing tinned fish. Okay, so, right. We have we have a whole <laughs> website for aesthetically pleasing tinned fish. Like, maybe I'm just slow on this uptake. Like, something. Oh, shit. Siri. Sorry. Shut up. I didn't, I didn't say. I didn't, she found fish. Wife. I didn't call you. Oh, yeah, these boxes are very cool. They're so adorable. Again, I don't know. Maybe. And then I would like people to to write into me and tell me whether or not I'm just light years behind on this trend because it feels like it's slapping me in the face. I don't know. I think tin I fish know. is, you know, that superfood like shit where they're like a chia yes. seed, a superfood. Like, I think tin fish is in that category. <laughs> Probably, damn. Or damn. like how? What else? I've got a. I've got a. These are hilarious. I just research. looked up anchovy merch. <laughs> yeah, and there's a shirt. Just a girl who loves anchovies. <laughs> I'm gonna get you so much anchovy merch now. I know. You don't even Things know. I do in my spare time: study anchovy, watch anchovy, <laughs> research stupid. anchovy, talk it's about anchovy. Stupid. That's literally Think about you. anchovy. Gina, dream that's about you. Anchovy. It you is. Love it. Have you seen that clip of Danny DeVito on KFC where he's like, I love anchovies. Yes, I saw that. I put them that. on my pizza. <laughs> I was like, yes. I saw that. A I thought it was Italian, fucking crazy. He knows. He okay, knows. maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's maybe it's yeah. like a... a yeah. Because we didn't, you know, we weren't a big fish fan. We were a lot of like hearty stuff like a lot I mean, of potatoes a lot of, beef. Love a lot of beef a lot of beef <laughs> so you much also beef. So you, you would break the tank i'm a salt <laughs> addict salt, so i lo- love how salt. salty the anchovies are yeah i have sense. never seen you someone eat as much salt as you do on a daily i feel like i had some salt but not a whole lot like we were it was it was very starch it's starch really heavy. bad potato it's, i think potato, it's a genetic egg thing. noodle everything egg noodles beef egg noodles stroganoff a stew some kind of stro- stew stroganoff chicken with onions like just all that kind of shit all that mm-hmm. polish shit irish yeah. shit sausage so kibasa. much sausage so much kibasi do you guys do a kibasi for um christmas like Mm-mm. fresh we always do for christmas and easter my parents will get fresh kibasi we say kibasi it's kielbasa i guess technically whatever what i say kibasi. say kibasi and we get fresh and we cut it up and have it with um i think it's like red cabbage Sauce? I know the cabbage. I don't know is what it like is, good but it's like thing. a sauce that you just like you do. You know, you put it on mm-hmm. toothpick and you dip it in. It's so good. But again, that shit's weird. Like that's probably weird. Maybe that's as weird as anchovies. I don't know. It's bizarre. 
But that's interesting. Uh, Superfood, though. It could be that. I think it, it falls into that. I'm not sure why, because if it's filled with salt, it doesn't sound like it. But true. I think fish are just like good for you in general. Yeah. Omega-3s, right? That's yeah, fish. Yeah. And if you're eating like a pack of tinned fish, mm-hmm. I'm sure that's a ton of omega-3. Yeah. And whatever the hell else is in fish. Do you worry that like it would make you smell bad? Like you eat so much fish? Yeah. No. Not you specifically. I'm saying in general. Like, in is general. there, like, do you, like, do you feel like your breast I smells bad? I definitely feel like my breast smells bad. bad. If you're preparing like, do you it sweat versus. Out fish? Like, I feel like whenever you eat too much garlic, you smell, you like, you sweat out garlic and you end up smelling Maybe like Maybe I garlic. do and I just don't notice, but. I've never noticed. I don't Thank know if I've you. ever noticed people smelling like fish unless they're, like, working around fish, I guess. I feel like yeah. it's more your, pre- if you're preparing fish, I feel like it'll stick on you. True, true, versus true. Versus just, like, if, like, you order, like, sushi, like, twice a week. Like, it's not like you smell like raw fish. Yeah, you don't smell like raw fish. Yeah, I would think so. And at so. the same time, like, I eat a lot of meat. So. It's not like I smell like meat. I don't walk around That's with true. Not, you but don't always, smell like what you eat. But they do always talk about, like, the meat sweats and, like, <laughs> I think you that's know, boys that eat, garlic like, four, and five whatever. guys cheeseburgers. Yeah, maybe that's around. what it is. Because I have yet to discover anybody, like, smell, <laughs> really smelling like the food that they're eating. Kelly, you, you don't strike me as someone about. who has the meat sweats. <laughs> no, I, no, certainly not. No, no, no. I will stop eating long before I start sweating about it. So, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but omega threes. Uh, brings me to my next topic. I want to ask you guys: Do you take vitamins? Yes, oh, are you <gasps> vitamin girls. I'm on my vitamin game right now. What What do you take for your vitamins? Okay, so actually, these have been like doctor prescribed to me. So love, love I, they actually came because I during quarantine I got into do you know care of? No, but I think what I'm doing is very similar. It's, it's like, like the, you take a the quiz, personalized pack of vitamins. Yeah, it's yes, personalized I'm pack. doing the thing. What I'm doing is uh, persona nutrition. Okay, so yeah, same yeah, deal. Same shit. Same and then they shit. come in a bag every day. Whatever. Yes. I did that during quarantine. Had no. I just took a quiz and was taking random shit. I was taking ashwagandha. Like I have no idea if I needed yeah. it. And then I went to a, a, my first doctor in New York and she was, she like did the blood work and she was like, this is what you're low in. This is what you need. Yada, yada, yada. So now my supplements are, um, D12 Ooh. or sorry, B12. I'm the lead singer of D12, baby. Yeah, I know. That's what I, I was <laughs> like. We're all like, oh my God. B12, D3, D3 okay. um, magnesium oxide. Damn. Okay. And then a spilaractone, which is not a vitamin. It's just my acne pill. Right. But, love it. <laughs> but I, I take a morning and night. And I okay. had to get a B12 shot a couple weeks ago because Damn. I'm so low in it. I think I got to get I think I got to get going with some blood work right now. I'm oh. definitely going to go get some blood work. Do you, you take vitamins or are you a non-vitamin nope. girly? I was a non-vitamin girly my out. whole life. And I oftentimes am still a non-vitamin girly. But I, I take um Sorry. I no, take no. those um, cranberry azo. Pills. Oh, those are great. Those are great. Where because just, I get chronic UTIs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have those too. Where it's just yeah. like the cranberry pills. Yes, like the little, that's those like are great. the only thing that I take every yeah. day. Those are great. I um and they're important. I I was on a, a kick for those for a long time. They're really helpful. My life sucks. Isn't it so weird how helpful they are? Cranberry yes, for that. Yes, they really. It's so it weird. They're my life. genuinely helpful. Yeah. You just take I always thought it was day, bullshit. Even if you don't have one. Yeah. It's like preventative. Day. Yeah. Because it helps keep I it can clear or something. You so easily. Same. I'm the same way. Um. But so I started taking vitamins. I did that same similar thing, like a persona nutrition, whatever. Mm -hmm. I have like five or six pills in the morning and at night. Yeah. And I'm like, it's a lot. But at the same time, I'm like, all right, whatever. I notice a difference. Like I I genuinely notice a difference. And then I got I was like being really lazy about them and not taking them for a couple weeks, like Mm -hmm. over Christmas, like whatever. And I was feeling like fucking garbage this week. I started getting back into it again and Oh, I didn't take them this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, whatever. But I noticed that um, it, it, somebody said to me, I was talking about them, and somebody was like, oh, are you just like peeing neon green the whole time? Yeah. Because like, you're no. taking so many vitamins. And I was like, I don't know. I don't think so. And I am confirmed. I'm peeing neon green. Oh, I think I'm taking I'm too many not. vitamins. But I don't know. Like, I didn't know there was such a thing as too many vitamins. Like, I don't I know, know what well, that's all about. Or do I need I to drink more water? Like or what's the deal? So... Like what am I, do- what am I, I doing? I figured out that if you're taking too much, I'm it's like what I'm taking. It's like if you're taking too much of something, your body is gonna pass it. Right. So like you know how when I don't. This is what my mom always it's said. Not bad up. for me, right? Right. Like when you drink s- too much orange juice, and they're like, you don't need that much vitamin C. Your mm-hmm. body will just filter it out in your pee. Like that's what it's gonna happen. Like if you're taking a thousand milligrams of B12 and you yeah. aren't deficient in B12, yeah. your body's not gonna like just use the surplus of B12 for whatever the fuck. So it just passes it, and then that's what makes your totally turn okay. Because that it's makes not like it's sense. not like water; it's a it's a supplement. 
Right. That makes complete sense to me. Okay. So I shouldn't be I like learned. so worried. I was getting a little panicked. No, I think it's like, just your body oh, no. passing. If anything, it may, I, uh, well, I, oof, I was a journalism major, so don't take my medical advice, but uh-huh. I think it should make you feel good that you're like, okay, I'm taking enough stuff that I'm not so deficient. Like, I, like you're, you're helping your body more than you need to. Got it. Okay. 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 Let's so call I'm, it that. So I'm I don't know. So bad. I, I'm going to read this whole thing. Right okay. Now. Because I just I need everybody to know what I'm taking, and I also think that this is a good. Uh, this is me holding myself accountable. Um, I am taking borage with saffron. It supports mood, supports a healthy complexion, and helps curb cravings. Mm-hmm. Uh, recommended because you told us you experience PMS symptoms. I get cramps like a motherfucker now. Mm. I don't know when that. I never had that before in my whole life. Now it's like it's it puts me out of commission for days. Energy support. I take cordyceps. What do you guys think? Okay. Don't Boost have. stamina, supports immune health, promotes healthy aging. <laughs> okay. Dude, recommended because you told us your energy could be better. Yeah, that's facts. This one, hair, skin, and nails. Recommended because you told us you'd like support for hair, skin, and nails. It's just, that's what it's called. Helps smooth fine lines and wrinkles, promotes skin hydration, promotes hair and nail growth. It doesn't tell me what it is. It just says hair, skin, and nails. So let's just hope could be that's anything. fine. It's probably biotin, which I like regardless. Then I have, uh, it sounds like you have some gaps in your nutrition. Facts. So I have a daily probiotic. Vitamin D3, two omega 3s, and a foundational multivitamin. Okay. I don't know. It sounds good. These all sound normal, right? And then I also, uh, at the very end, I said I had trouble sleeping. And they gave me an herbal rest pill. It says support sound sleep, helps relax muscles, eases everyday stress. And then also a good night pill that <laughs> supports healthy sleep quality, promotes sleep onset, soothes occasional stress. And I was like, oh, this is bullshit. Like, I bet you that's magnesium. It's not like a sli- probably. I was like, it's not a sleeping pill. It's also not melatonin or anything because I, no, I've tried melatonin before and stuff and it makes me hallucinate, I swear to God. And well, and melatonin, you shouldn't be taking as a pill. Totally you should not. be taking magnesium. That makes it, sense. For no, sleeping. For, for sleep? Yep. Oh, is that real? Because melatonin you have natural melatonin in your body yeah so if you take the pill it depletes your natural supply interesting well, and so then you become times. and then that's literally how you become addicted to it you're like i have to take melatonin every night because wow. your body has gotten rid of its natural melatonin supply magnesium your body doesn't make on its own you have to you eat magnesium in food Damn. so if you take a magnesium pill it's not going to deplete a natural supply of magnesium in your body wow god mm-hmm. i'm so glad that i have these experts on the staff <laughs> because i like this again. is all coming from that same the same girl who has the tinned fish bag she teaches me everything about vitamins i love this woman who is she Her name's kate glavin she's amazing yep well anyway so i'm taking all these things and i'm feeling good about it and the reason I'm even bringing it up at all is just because, uh, you know, as we've been saying, new year, new us. We're trying to better ourselves, better our bodies, better, you know, the long term. Mm-hmm. And I'm starting to think long term for the first time in a long time. You know, wow. like I feel like I was always living day to day being like, oh, just got to get through. Now I'm thinking long term, like I don't want five years from now to like look like a monster. Like I know that I already have like bags under my eyes perpetually, but I don't want to have to look like a monster. I don't want to have to like inject all over my face for the rest of my life like you know what i mean like i want to i want to be mm-hmm. gradual subtle whatever right it's so hard though and i feel like yeah. maybe i should have been taking vitamins a long time ago you know mm-hmm. <laughs> and maybe well, it's, like, I, it's you know. the same thing with what people say about people sunscreen. take such good care of their bodies true it's, like so the sunscreen thing is new not new but like people are like you need Newer. to put sunscreen on your face every single day that's new i put sunscreen on my face this morning do you know how gloomy it is outside right now but i was like gotta put my sunscreen on. people always do that and i always am like but it's gloomy and they say do it anyway. And they say that's when you get to get that's when you're gonna get the most skin damage. It's so damage. crazy. I just can't imagine getting a getting a burn. I'm just convinced people want you to buy sunscreen so they make money off of you. I I, yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 in. I'm I'm with you on that. I'm woke. Like, on yes, big sunscreen. you should wear sunscreen. Of course, I always wear sunscreen when it's yeah. sunny out. Yeah. But who they the say fuck? It's the what are you screening me from? Yeah, the reflection whatever. on the clouds. They say it. But you're right. Everybody, I put on sunscreen so too. So. Every bitch yeah. wears. <laughs> yeah, it's like she's like wearing sunscreen. I got my right super group on. No, Everybody, that's what it is. It's, it's yeah. like if my sunscreen has like tinted moisturizer. Yeah, it's like the tinted yeah. moisturizer. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's wearing sunscreen every day. I don't know, man. I just know that so many people are light years ahead of me as far as taking care of their bodies, take care of themselves, mm-hmm. and I feel like I got to catch up. But there is no quick fix. I just got to start from the beginning, which is taking. 15 vitamins a day right i think it's one of those things where it's like one like at least you're doing something two it's definitely a tiktok thing being like i i have all of these it's like the it girl blah 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 the 99 percent of people are not having this like huge influx of vitamins every day and like like it's 
it's yeah, such like, a TikTok should I, girly should I thing. I feel like shit that I don't think I'm taking as good of care of myself as everybody else on earth seems to be. Like, are there other people on earth who yeah. are not taking good people care of themselves? Also I need fake people it. to be honest about it. People yeah, I need, it. right. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's I why am, social media sucks. It's like, totally. On the good days where you wake up and you do your skincare routine and you mm-hmm. go to the gym, That's blah, blah, when you film a day That's when life. everyone's filming. No one's filming right. a day where they do nothing. I need, I need more people to film the day where you're depressed in bed and you don't leave it all day long for 12 hours. Yeah. I'm, I'll, you know what? I'll be that person. Do it. I'll you be should. the person who's filming that because I, even today, today I didn't wash my hair because I was like, I was running around in circles. I said before we started like a nervous dog because of all of the, the drilling that was happening. I like couldn't get my shit together. I like couldn't like wash my hair. I couldn't dry my hair. Like I just, no, couldn't do it. But I feel like it's, uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with me t- not taking care of myself, but I'm just, I, I need people to be honest. I can't have, I can't be thinking that I'm the only person on earth that's not like in tip top shape feeling amazing i can't have it so no you do better than you think you do i hope so i've been drinking a lot of water now i drink way more water than i used to Mm -hmm. that's a big that's a big hurdle for me the last thing i want to talk about is um kind of going off of this and one of my vitamins i didn't even realize was helping me with it but do you guys get overwhelming cravings i also want on record that i'm nowhere near my period i'm just asking about do you guys get like oh like cravings where you're like i must have this and like say you don't have it one day but then you think about it until you do no no not like Damn. I like crave things, <laughs> but yeah. not overwhelmingly. I crave a sweet treat. Oh, a sweet treat. I'm always craving a sweet treat. A uh, sweet yeah. treat. Always. But say you're craving something. But that's not like, like a craving. That's just like, I like a sweet treat. Like, oh, I'm craving a cheeseburger. And now and I can't like, eat anything. Now I, I have can't a talk about anything until I get a cheeseburger. No. Like, any other food is, is not even good to me until I have a cheeseburger. No. Damn. What do you think that's about? Should I look into that? I have cravings like that. Specifically, uh, Yesterday, it happened to be a sweet treat, but I was craving the slice and bake cookies that are like sugar cookies, you know, you mm-hmm. get it like Christmas time or like yeah. Yeah, they're they're so all good. year round they're available or so I thought I went to three different places and they didn't have them anywhere. So now it's all I'm thinking about. I need those slice and bake cookies. I don't know what to do about it, but it happens with other food too, like not just sweet treats. So I'm wondering if that's weird. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if one of my vitamins that's supposed to be helping me with that is going to be helping me, but it's not that I'm like, I'm not like, um, <laughs> It's not that I'm worried about like eating it. Like I'm not not trying to have a cheeseburger. Like I'll have a cheeseburger. But then if a cheeseburger isn't readily available to me that day and I have to have something else, like like I have my uh, my HelloFresh. My HelloFresh came. Mm-hmm. This I have stuffed s- turkey stuffed peppers. I can't wait. I love turkey stuffed peppers. I got them. I was gonna make them last night. I literally couldn't because I couldn't find the I couldn't find the um, slice and bake cookies. So I ended up ordering pizza. Like I, I <laughs> went totally off the rails. I was like, nope, I can't have anything but this slice and bake cookie and like now i just have to have pizza because it's late at night and i'm not gonna be making these green peppers i don't Mm-mm. know I'm, i feel like no. my day is ruled by my cravings no, i, I will say my lunches if i'm not getting what i want for lunch i'm not happy but that's like my one True. slice of like yeah. I, we get I, I get excited to go to lunch every day with you and we go like oh let's go get fresh and co and that's like something that makes me happy. Well, true. That's like an occasion. You're like, yeah, doing it's, something. A, it's you're more making an occasion, a moment of it. Yeah, you're making but a moment of it. But definitely not, not, like, not worth like throws off my whole entire day if I don't have it. Damn. I think I got to look into it. I bet it's hormones. I've learned that it everything hormones, comes back right? to hormones. I say it has to be hormones. I blame everything hormones for hormones. fucking everything. I'm starting I'm also to. I'm not pregnant or anything. Like, I'm not, like, this isn't me being like, <laughs> whoops, I have cravings. What's going on? No. Like, no. I'm, I, I just, this has been my whole life. Where I'm mm-hmm. like, if I have it, I need it. McDonald's too. McDonald's is a big crave of mine. I will crave McDonald's and I will need to drop everything and have it. My only thing relatable to that is I don't want, if I will not eat Chipotle unless I am so craving it like crazy. True. That's Because I don't, Chipotle all, doesn't. I'm make, almost never craving Chipotle. I'm never craving Chipotle unless I am. And then it's like, I need Chipotle right <laughs> like, now. This is the only thing that will satiate this yeah, hunger. But, yeah, uh, yeah. And that's like once every two months. Interesting. Interesting. Other than that, though, I don't have that for anything Interesting. Else. All right. Well, I don't know. That's that's another thing I just had to get off my chest. Sometimes I feel like our these episodes are more just me complaining about what's happening in my life and wondering if it's normal or not. And that was mm-hmm. what you just saw. You just cut a window into that. So um, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say today because I'm so brain dead from listening to Prince Harry. But next week I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a little poll on my Instagram story. So go ahead and check what's going on. I'm gonna think of something I haven't thought of it yet. But I'm gonna think of like a, a proper topic to do some research on. We've just been catching up the past couple weeks, and that's mm-hmm. fine. I like that. But I would like to think of a proper topic. I like to do some research. Um, I have to leave this office now and go pick up my new Apple Pencil because I am a doodler now on my iPad. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys are gonna see a lot of my doodles coming up soon. And by doodles, I mean just like me writing my name a million times on a piece of paper. So get excited for that. And we will see you all next week.